day 19, desk and filing cabinet. My hunch is this is your office. This is the place where you work and inviting new possibilities, expanding your business in a way that is delightful and pleasing. And what would it take for the energy of your office to support the things that you know are possible in allowing your business to grow, thrive, and expand. And if we have clutter or stuck energy or things that don't facilitate us changing the world and having more joy in our life, if you're doing a lot of your work here, our spaces should reflect that. So that's part of what I'm considering as I move through this desk clean out filing cabinet is the energy around me a contribution to unrestricted success? Is the energy around me serving me in the best way so that I can facilitate the greatest change for my clients? And that's what I wanna create here. So I'm keeping that in mind as I move through some of the objects that I'm encountering while having you in my energy, this object, be a contribution to me being the biggest key, the best facilitator to assist my clients, to inspire them to new possibilities. If that's not a fit for what's around, including a broken pen, it's gonna go. That's an exciting perspective and I'm glad that that's how I'm choosing to declutter. What's yours? What do you want in your future with your business? And I invite you to ask questions of your space and of the belongings in it. And if it's a match, if it's an energetic contribution for bringing more of that into your life and for the people that you serve, keep it. If it's not, pitch it, donate it, send it away. All right, I'll keep you updated on tips and tricks as I move on through. Tip and trick number one, just start. Pick a drawer, pick an area, pick a folder, and begin. My second tip is to create piles. For instance, right now, I've created a to shred pile, a recycle pile, and a this just doesn't belong here. Tip number three is start with something easy. <laughs> just start with something easy to get that energy flowing. So one of the things that I do is I have a lot of paper that I could recycle, but I'm keeping the this stack about this size because I use it as scratch paper or to print on if it doesn't matter what's on the other side. So to be more reduce, reuse, recycle. Little helpful tip from me to you. With the office, I encourage you to start with those questions about what energy do I want to have in here? And do these documents, trinkets, or materials really support that, inviting that future energy? Is that part of what you want to have in here? So I have really taken down my pictures and things like that, and I'm going to be very aware of what I put into my space to create great ease. Now the other thing to consider, especially with your office, is having a system so that it doesn't reclutter quickly. Let us know what you discover and what energy you're specifically bringing into your office to create the present moment and the future that you most desire. Leave that in the comments below and we'll keep playing. Thanks everybody.